y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video and today we will be trying out a new product from gucci we will be trying out the new cheek and eyes luminous matte powder this is a blush um i just received mine literally like 10 minutes ago but anyway if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button. um i only picked up one shade of blush i'm gonna try to make this video short and straight to the point i'm not gonna talk to y'all for 10 minutes about a blush but anyway y'all let's just get right into today's video this blush retails for $49 it is available in five shades gucci's first powder blush provides a smooth playful multi-use color for the cheeks and eyes the coverage is buildable and it provides a long lasting luminous matte color whether you're looking for a lightly flush look or a daring flush look what the packaging looks like i love the packaging really pretty I love that it has the stars across it and also when you open it up it does have a mirror on the inside I picked up the shade warm berry and I went with the shade just because I felt like looking at um, the photos this would be a shade that I know would absolutely work for me the other shades are more like pinky there were one um, coral shade Y'all know I love a good coral color blush, but I didn't know if that would work. The shades that I seen, I just didn't feel comfortable enough with buying them, to be honest. I didn't want to get three uh, shades of blush and only one worked for me. So I figured what I would do is get the shade that I feel like I know absolutely would work. And then I'll watch a couple reviews and see if they show up on people who are around my skin tone. I know I seen earlier today that Kay's Ways um, ordered a few shades. So I'm gonna wait until I see her review. And if she have um, any other shades, then, and they work for her, then okay, it's a go. But right now, I just, I'm not doing it. Especially the fact that these cost $49. Like, no. I need to see that they absolutely will work for somebody that's around my skin tone. Um, only thing I will say about this, looking at it in a pan, I feel like this is very small for $49 to be quite honest. You don't get a lot of um, product in here. Do a quick swatch of it on my hand and we'll see how it looks. And then I'll apply it to my cheeks and then I'll give y'all my final thoughts on this blush. And also it does have Gucci embossed right across the powder. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, y'all, this is really smooth. This is like silky <laughs> smooth. And this is what it looks like swatched on my hand and this is what it looks like swatched on my hand so yeah this will show up okay so i already have foundation on concealer powder everything only thing i'm missing is blush and some mascara and if anybody is wondering the foundation that i'm using today is the la mer foundation and yeah, so i'm gonna tap my brush in here y'all know i'm a blush girl just because i have oily skin and a lot of times blush is like the first thing that goes on me so i like to put a lot a lot of blush on so expect to see that. <laughs> Y'all, this is what the blush looks like on my cheeks. Yes, I know I went overboard. <laughs> Which I told y'all I was going to do that anyway. So don't mind the way it looks. Y'all know, again, I'm a blush girl. I like a lot of Start blush. With this blush, you do not need a lot of product on your cheeks to get that intense color payoff because a very pigmented blush which i am pleasantly surprised about i was not expecting it to be this intense and also you don't need to go in heavy handed like i did because i went in a little crazy you don't need to do that like you don't have to put a lot of <laughs> work in to get this to show up on your cheeks my final thoughts on this blush would i recommend it or not absolutely i'm definitely recommending this blush i didn't really expect much going into this review just because sometimes um when you look at blush online it could be kind of be a hit or miss sometimes for people who are around my skin complexion and a little bit deeper so i know for a fact that this shade absolutely will show up on someone who is a little deeper the other one uh, shades i'm not too sure again i will wait for some more reviews to come out before um, I try out any more. But Warren Berry, 
definitely is the shade to pick up this is a nice berry shade that will be perfect for all year round and also this is not super matte i know some people don't like very matte blush this is not matte at all it does have a slight glow like I, i'm loving the way that this looks like this is really nice and again when i did my swatch this feels like i said very smooth this is like buttery smooth the pigment is there this kind of reminds me of the Pat McGrath blush when it comes to a blush being super pigmented like that's what this makes me think of that's the first one that came to mind so I would absolutely recommend this blush now it is on the pricey side $49 could be a lot to someone so if someone didn't want to spend $49 on their blush I completely understand but I do feel like it is worth um, the splurge. Like, I would recommend this one. So, yeah, yeah. those are my thoughts on the new Gucci Luminous and Matte Blush. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Have you picked this up already? Do you plan on picking this up? And most importantly, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.